Hey, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a minute and take a little bit of a deeper dive into a card coming out in Legacy of Destruction, which is in about three weeks for the TCG. So um, that card is Fishborg Harpooner. It's a lot, uh, there's a lot of hype around it because it's a new tool for the water decks and because I play a bunch of water decks and um, really am kind of close to those. I do want to address it and talk about what I think about the card, what it does, give a little bit of a background just so we can be prepared when the set drops. All right, so um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the four water decks that I know well enough to address, and those are going to be Plunder Patrol, obviously, Goaty, um, Mermail, like Mermail Atlantean, and then um, Rincess. Like, I know those four decks well enough. I don't know Shark XCs well enough to really talk about it, so. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, address the decks that I do know. But first we're gonna talk about Fishboard Harpooner itself, what it does and kind of where it's gonna stand. You know what I mean? So uh, let's go ahead and read the effect together to start off at the very least, okay? So this card says, well, first of all, it's a level four tuner, fish monster, 400 attack, 400 defense. And being a level four fish, that should immediately set off some alarm bells that it is searchable by a bitch shark, but uh, that's for a later part of the discussion. But anyway, level four fish tuner. You can reveal this card and one other water monster in your hand, colon, so that's the cost. Special summon one and discard the other. Okay, so this effect right here is kind of two effects that already exist in Yu-Gi-Oh! built into one. And the effects that I'm talking about are going to be Ice Jade Tremora, which is essentially discard this card to special water from your hand. So that's the first part. And it's also a combination of White Stingray, which is discard another card to special this card, right? So uh, it essentially is a combination where you can pick whether you want your card to be White Stingray or Ice Jade Tremora. All right, and that's kind of cool. Um, it's just kind of gives extra flexibility because obviously right now Tremora and White Stingray are not really seeing any kind of meta play. Um, you know, Tremora is kind of cool in some Ice Jade Atlantean type of stuff, but you know, White Stingray is nowhere to be seen. There's really no reason to play it. Why would you play White Stingray over stuff like uh, Silent Angler or even the Silent Sea Nettle? Just normal level four extenders that don't actually require a discard. Right, so at least we have an option. At least Harpooner be can become something else more than Stingray, okay? Let's go ahead and finish the effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material for a water monster, you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. So what this basically screams out is that it's a chain blocking effect when going second, okay? So it just gives you a little boost when you're playing into a board and that is pretty important because this is a very costly card to use it's essentially a minus one for a special summon right so we do want to have a little bit more versatility and utility especially when going second because of the heavier cost that we're going to be paying to just have a level four extender all right so let's go ahead and talk about this card a little bit so first of all Unfortunately, the first thing that like kind of came to mind, but then, you know, we got to roll that out immediately is triggering Atlantean effects. And this card does not trigger them because it does not discard for cost. Like if this card said discard one water monster, colon, special summon this card, then we could discard a Dragoons, special summon the Harpooner, and then Dragoons would search. But because the discard is part of the effect and Dragoons requires itself to be discarded as cost, for it to activate, then unfortunately this card will just not work uh, by triggering Dragoons. Now, however, you can use it to special summon a Dragoons from your hand and then overlay the Dragoons and detach the Dragoons from like Bahamut Shark or something and then get Dragoons that way. But that's like a little bit more of a, a deeper combo, right? So uh, it doesn't work right off the bat from the hand using Harpooner. Okay, so that's a bummer, okay, number one. Uh, number two, like the advantage this card has over White Stingray is that it's a tuner, right? Uh, Stingray is not a tuner unless it's special summoned from the graveyard, and this one is just a tuner off the bat. So if you are in need of level four water tuners, then Harpooner is going to be a nice extender. Uh, really, there are no just special summon level four water tuners available. Like the only, and especially for fish, I think the only fish uh, 
tuner level four is royal swamp eel and that's kind of crap so um where this kind of comes in is the coelacanth decks coelacanth coelacanth pronounce i can't i don't know uh one of these so this um is definitely something that should come to mind when thinking about uses for harpooner is being able to special summon it as a fish off of this card off of the big whale and uh being able to just use it in combos that way but um yeah going back to just its utility um it's just it's interesting but it's costly so uh, i'm kind of curious to see where this will come up like when is it ever going to be better than just a level four extender that doesn't need a discard and the the reason i'm asking that is because when do you ever like need the water tuner because if you need a level four water extender chances are you're going bahamut toad right and i can just get a free extender without a discard with like like silent angler or minairuka uh, both of which are also searchable off of Abyss Shark, where we can just special summon them essentially without having a discard. Like where where is Harpooner's value coming in? And I'm I'm looking for that, right? Harpooner's searchability, let's talk about that. So as I already said, it's searchable off of Abyss Shark. Tremora is searchable off of Cradle, and White Stingray is also searchable off of Abyss Shark and White Reincarnation. Okay, so we do have a little bit um like at least a bitch shark can search harpooner if you wanted to actually build a deck around it the only other way would just be to special summon it straight out with uh Quelcanth here but yeah I i'm not really sure how the searchability is going to play in here it's also funny enough because it's uh 400 attack 400 defense we could summon it off of gizmek uka just for funsies just another random card that could work but uh yeah because it's a level four tuner, I think the, the best way to go about it is thinking about how it fits in with these white sardine uh, and white sunfish plays because white sardine, when you just special summon it, is a non-tuner. So if we need to get into a level six synchro, then we have sardine plus the uh, harpooner and it harpooner basically acts just as another copy of sunfish where like if you open only sardine and no sunfish, the only other way you're going to get into a six tuner is going to be through harpooner right and uh talking about six synchros we have porpoise we might want to make but like porpoise is not going to get any value but this is where kind of goatee might come in where we can just go into Ariane post a level six synchro here which is the core of the goatee deck except it's going to be expensive right we're gonna have to have a sardine which is one card out of hand and then harpooner plus a discard that's two more cards out of hand that's a three card Ariane post where already we're like kind of complaining about having to go into a two card Arion post and that's just really not that efficient. Uh, also in terms of the goatee cards, like yeah, okay, cool, you could go Harpooner plus Keef into Arion post. That's just like a new, it like increases the value of Keef a little bit because it doesn't really have that much value in the current deck. It's not a tuner, uh, so most of the uh, level four extenders we're playing are non-tuners normally but now that we have a tuner level four maybe keith gets a little bit more value so i don't know in goatee it's like hit or miss at best i think the best use in goatee is going to be just if you're playing the koalacanth version of goatee you just have one copy of harpooner in your deck for comboing okay uh we already kind of brought up atlantean and the mermail strategy because this card just doesn't trigger your atlantean cards i'm not really seeing much value here i'm not really seeing a reason to play this card instead of just standard level four extenders like even minairuka or uh silent anger like yeah silent anger is not great in mermail because you want to be specialing out of your hand for a long time so sure let's not play that but we could even play like silent sea nettle uh let's see we could play this guy which is just like a special summon level four and then you're locked into waters but we're gonna be locked into waters anyway a lot of the time so um yeah i'd rather just play this card because it ha it's shuffle back effect is probably better especially going first but um yeah i think for atlantean mermail not not so hot uh, same with Marincess, unfortunately. So talking about Marincess, they already just have so many darn extenders. Like Pasculus already special summons stuff out of your hand. Seahorse already special summons itself out of your hand. And same with Spring Girl and Mandarin as well. 
you just have so much extenders. That's like all Marin says is, is extenders. And even though we are adding back cards to our hand a lot in Marin sets and we might be able to afford the Harpooner cost, the only reason to play this in Marin sets is because you might want a tuner to go into like level 8 synchros like White Aura Whale or uh, Dragite. But really, if you're going to have two level 4 waters on the field, there's no shot you're not just going for Bahamut Toad, right? So uh, I think just. I, I don't see it in Marenses either. Um, and that brings us to the last deck that I want to talk about, which is going to be Plunder Patrol. Uh, if you know the channel, we're a Plunder channel here, so let's go ahead and talk about it really quick. So, um, first of all, let's say we have a Harpooner plus Whitebeard going on. So, we can go ahead and go Harpooner effect, discard the Whitebeard and special the Harpooner, and then Harpooner, I mean, and then the Whitebeard will be able to summon a non-tuner from the deck, and then boom, there's your level eight Synchro into Jord. That's something, okay. Uh, and then it also combos well with Golden Hair a little bit because you can kind of do the same thing, discard the Golden Hair, and then Golden Hair can summon itself back by discarding another thing. But unfortunately, Golden Hair is a tuner and so is Harpooner. So there's really no reason to uh, be going for that particular combo you might as well discard the harpooner and another plunder name and special the other plunder name in most cases uh so i don't know that's not great but uh yeah but it also is kind of decent with maybe like bluebeard because you can go like harpooner discard bluebeard special the harpooner bluebeard draw one discard one and then hopefully you have access to a black eyes and then black eyes can add back the bluebeard and then you can still special summon the bluebeard so in that case you haven't negged at all because black eyes has added your bluebeard back and you can still use it so um that's like a that's the best like scenario we can think of with harpooner plus plunder like it's either harpooner plus white directly or harpooner plus blue plus black eyes but like those are so specific man like is there a reason we're playing that maybe we branch out into playing abyss shark let's see where is it abyss shark in plunder for going first boards where you can we can make like i don't know we can go abyss shark search the harpooner uh so we're gonna have like white beard or like a plunder name harpooner in hand plus a bish shark on field and then we are gonna have to have another thing to discard with harpooner to be able to special summon it out or something or yeah i don't know uh like it what, what i'm essentially getting to is that yeah this card has a lot of hype and i think a lot of the hype is because of its name like fishborg sets off alarm bells because of fishborg blaster banned card caused a lot of loops and issues back in the day back in what like 2010 era uh, and then like Fishburg Planter and Launcher were both used in Mermail Atlantean for a little bit, like saw a little bit of play. So hey, like Fishborg could be good. But when we look at it really, like look at the applications, I'm just not seeing it, at least for the decks that I play. Maybe there's something with Fish XCs, you know, Sharks or whatever, where it could be good. I don't know, like I, I'm not familiar enough with those decks or maybe in like some kind of like pure Ice Jade thing. Uh, I'm not really sure enough either, but like, I, I'm not really seeing, unless, until we get better water synchros, at least like level eights or lower, where we, where it's worth synchroing for, with your level four, instead of going into Bahamut Toad. Like, because Bahamut Toad exists, there is no need to pay extra cost for a tuner when you can get a free level four and go Bahamut Toad. And that's essentially what Harpooner boils down to. Like, what is the benefit it's bringing over the non-tuner level four extenders? And right now, it just doesn't exist. I think this is a card pool issue where the best like level eight synchros we have is like Dragite and White Aura Whale. But besides that, like I'm not seeing it. Yeah, okay, we haven't really been talking about the second effect very much with the chain blocking, but realistically, if you're playing a water deck, you're probably banking on going first a little bit. And I guess, yeah, it gives you a little bit of a boost because water decks are typically typically not that good at going second because they're so combo heavy. So hey, maybe this that extra little bit of uh, chain blocking and negation protection is actually going to do you some good in some decks. I'm not really sure. I'm just curious to see. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about this in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are looking forward to some more Legacy Destruction discussion because we have no ban list. I've gone through all of my decks, uh, you know, all the profiles that I want to put out lately. So we might as well look towards the future, see what's coming. Try to talk about the cards that are coming up and going to be played in the meta. 
And with that, we'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.